kitty cats. We're cute. But I'm cuter. Me, Me wow. wow. Movie makers. One day, Cookie Candy and Pudding were excited about a new project. What's that noise? Sounds like a whale. It's, it's Daddy. Daddy. Mm -hmm. Oh, hi, kids. We really want to make a movie, but don't know how. Oh, well, you're going to need a director and a scriptwriter and a camera person. But, but what, what do those words mean? Well, a screenwriter makes up the stories. A director tells the actors what to do. And the camera person records it all on the camera. Hey, I like to make up stories. And I like to tell people what to do. <laughs> I guess that makes me the cameraman. Uh, only I don't exactly have a camera. Don't need one. Nowadays, you can make a movie on a phone. Mommy! Mommy! We're gonna make a movie. Can we pretty please borrow your phone to use as our movie camera? Of course. Just uh -oh. don't lose it. All right! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The cast of the movie has arrived. Boris, Chase, and Cupcake. Meow. What's with these costumes? Our movie's supposed to be about pirates. Well, I'm the beautiful and perfect pirate princess. And I'm a pirate alien from the planet R. Pew, pew, pew. I, of course, am a traditional pirate clown. I'll be in my trailer. We can make it work, but first, we'll need a ship. A broom and a bedsheet turned the sofa into a fine sailing vessel. Well, is the camera on? Uh, uh-huh. All right, then, action. Action means do something, otherwise the movie will be a snore. Hey, what if we rock the boat like we're in some kind of storm? <laughs> I can jump too, because I'm a clown after all. <laughs> and I can fall down without hurting myself. Cut! Um. What on earth was that? <laughs> Whoops, I think our ship must have sunk. Pew, pew! How am I supposed to work like this? Wait till you hear what happens next. Whale attack! But who will play the part of the whale? Who else? He'd been practicing whale noises in his sleep all day. Daddy was a natural. Whoa! <laughs> I'm a whale! <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure that it's time for my song now. <sighs> huh? Hey, Granny's not supposed to be in the movie. Oh, I see, it's a phone call. Hello, Granny. No, it's not Mommy, it's just Pudding. I'm making a movie. Pudding, darling, help! <gasps> the forest is a peaceful place. It's silent and serene. And lovely as my furry face. Hey, Pudding, did you get all that? I don't know, because I lost Mom's phone. Uh-oh. Mom's going to be upset about that. we got to find it. Our movie's on it! Well, that's where my dance shoes win. Down the barbecue floor. I got it. No, that's a worm. No, no luck. What am I going to say to Mommy? <laughs> I think I have an idea for this scene, but I'll need the whale's telephone. <laughs> Candy's idea was a good one. <gasps> and the movie camera was found. Hooray! That evening, they held a big movie premiere. What'll we do if they don't like our movie? Hi, honey. <laughs> <laughs> we now present High Seas High Chicks. <laughs> 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 Please, everyone, this movie has been awarded the coveted prize for Best Picture of the Year. Amazing! <laughs> Would the filmmakers please come forward to receive their delicious award? And that is how Cookie, Candy, and Pudding made a movie masterpiece and won the Academy Award. Cookie's Scooter Skills. One day, the kitten saw a commercial showing a cat on a super fab scooter. Oh, wow! Look how cool that scooter is! I want to do that, too! Super 
steel scooters are so cool, they'll make you cooler than this cool cat. Awesome! Daddy, I need the cool scooter from the commercial. I've been saving up. I want to use my money to get it. Ah, so an ordinary scooter simply won't do? No, a normal one doesn't come close to the same level of coolness. <laughs> okay, well, since you're paying for most of it, I guess we better get the cool one. Ah, so awesome! Bee wow, bee wow, bee wow, bee wow! At the store, Cookie bought everything he needed to look just like the cat in the TV commercial. Cookie, you look like the coolest cat of all time. You do look quite handsome. Now I'm going to be able to do some super cool tricks. Watch this. Whoa. Now, was that a cool trick or not? Not. Falling's not cool at all. It's a really good thing that Cookie's wearing a helmet and pads. I'm only warming up, so I'll be even cooler than the coolest cat who ever lived. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Something's wrong with this dumb little ramp, obviously. How about instead I just jump over the sandbox? Whoa. Turns out you're the coolest cat never. Which doesn't look handsome at all. I know why none of my tricks are working. Obviously, this scooter's broken. You need to take it to the place you got it and trade it in for a good one. Daddy and the kittens went to the store to let the sales cat examine the scooter. There's nothing wrong with this scooter. In fact, it's in perfect working order. Yeah? Then could my helmet be messed up? Nothing wrong with the helmet. What about the... Your safety pads are also just fine. <laughs> okay, well, thank you. We'll get going then. Maybe it just fixed itself on the way here somehow. Cookie, what part exactly was broken? Cookie couldn't do super cool stunts, like the awesome rider on TV. Well, since we've learned it isn't broken, maybe you can do cool tricks now. Okay, I'll try. I'm going to ride down these huh? steps. Cookie, stop! Whoa! <sighs> 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 Cookie, you don't know how to ride downstairs, and I don't either. Does that mean that the cool TV cat can't really do them? And the super skill scooter isn't really cool at all? Were they just lying about it? <laughs> Not at all. That cat on TV can really do those cool tricks. Come with me. I'll show you what I mean. Daddy and the kittens went to the skate park, where the cat from the commercial was practicing. <gasps> wow! wow. I can't make my scooter do all that, even though I've got the same exact model you have. <laughs> I can do all this stuff on my scooter because I practice all the time, like for hours and hours every day. It's a lot of hard work. Oh, so then it's not the scooter that's cool, but the rider. I have a really good idea. Cookie just needs some time to practice. If he does, soon he'll be doing lots of super cool tricks. Yeah, that's right. I'd be glad to give the little dude a lesson or two. So awesome! The kittens learned that every skill requires practice. Then you can do cool tricks on any scooter. Beautiful kittens! One day, the kitty cat's friend Cupcake, who loves pretty things, came over. I'm inviting you to come participate in a really fun beauty pageant. The winner will get a great prize. So awesome! Be wow, be wow, be wow, be wow! So a beauty pageant, huh? What does beauty mean exactly? How will Cupcake decide who gets the prize? Do you think that one of our friends could tell us what beauty really is? <clears throat> I'm not totally sure, but for me, this is beautiful. I don't know who's the most beautiful, but I do know who's the scariest. <laughs> well, I kind of think that the most beautiful one of all is Candy. Because you guys are guys and she's a girl. So what are you saying? Boys can't be beautiful or something? 
Great. How are we supposed to find out what beauty is so we can win the big prize? Cupcake really loves pretty stuff, so she must think the cats on her flyer are beautiful. Okay, let's take a look. A black suit with a bow tie. Curled up whiskers. <laughs> a sparkly dress. Fancy hairdo. And high heels. Beautiful. The kittens felt like they needed to try to look like the cats in the flyer. Mommy! Daddy! We've got to get black suits right away. And bow ties as well. And I need a sparkly dress, a big hairdo, and shoes with super high heels. And we need to have our whiskers curled up. And then we'll need our nails painted and polished. <laughs> Nonsense. Why would you need all that? Because we need to be beautiful like the flyer cats. Then we're sure to win. Yeah. Oh, you silly and beautiful kittens. You think beauty is just about what you wear or your hairstyle? Well, yeah, we figured beauty was what was in the flyer picture. Not at all. It's really very different. How about these beautiful paintings? Ah. Or beautiful music, huh? Hmm. We can enjoy beautiful flowers. Or the beautiful sunsets. Let me get this straight. You're telling us beauty is all around us? Yes, but beauty is also inside us. Inside us? Oh, yes. The best way to show the world that you're beautiful is with your actions and not with the way that you look. I have a really good idea. Everyone's just so beautiful, it's going to be really hard to pick. Now let me present to you our final contestants. This is supposed to be a beauty pageant. Couldn't you have worn something nice and fancied up your hair? We're here to present other sorts of beauty to you. So here are some things we find beautiful. Mmm, beautiful. So beautiful. <laughs> that was amazingly beautiful! Thanks for showing us all the different ways that kittens can be beautiful. You deserve to get the grand prize! Hey, you know, Raisin here can paint beautiful landscapes. And he knows how to play really beautiful music on the violin. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! So Cupcake's beauty pageant turned out to be a wonderful celebration of how beautiful we all are, inside and out. Not so carefree cat. Mommy had gone out for the day, leaving Daddy at home with the kitty cats. Mommy. Yes, my darling? Do you remember all the chores uh, I asked you to do? A uh, chore, yeah, but we were just about to start them. Uh, kittens, Mommy would like for you to vacuum the house and me to do the laundry before she gets back. Before we do the chores, could we play for a while? I'd love to sit here and watch soccer all day, but if we don't do these important chores, they won't get done at all. Are you tired of chores? The all-new Carefree Cat Device will do all your chores for you. It'll clean, do laundry, and take care of everything else. Call now and order the Carefree Cat Home System today. Awesome! I bet that thing could vacuum all the rugs oh. for us. And do many other things. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I think I'll do, kittens? <laughs> Over the carefree cat. So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Daddy ordered the carefree cat system, and in an hour, it was installed in the kitten's house. Carefree cat is ready for use. <laughs> so, carefree cat. Turn on your cleaning mode. Yes! That's so awesome! What other stuff can it do? For one thing, it can recognize its owners by sight. 
and unlock the doors to let them in. Identity confirmed. Now, Carefree Cat, turn on your laundry setting. Daddy and the kittens like the carefree cat very much. Ah. Ah. But then something went wrong. <laughs> oh, it washed the colored clothes and the white clothes together. Let me in! Identity cannot be confirmed. But it's me, Cookie! Pudding too. Identity cannot be confirmed. We need to take our costumes off to show who we really are. But we haven't finished pretending to be aliens yet. <laughs> <laughs> This crazy carefree cat system is turning out to be more trouble than it's worth. I have a really good idea. We should just turn it off and do all the chores ourselves. <laughs> Mommy! Welcome home. We just got all the chores finished. Well done, my darlings. I knew I could count on you to get everything done, which is why I brought you all ice cream. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! If the carefree cat had done the chores instead of us, do you think he'd get to eat the ice cream instead of us, too? Uh, what carefree cat are you talking about? <laughs> well, we sort of tried out a labor-saving gadget. But we figured out right away that we just don't need it. Yes! Come on, everybody! Let's have ice cream! The kittens actually had some fun doing the chores themselves. And what's more, they loved how happy it made Mommy. The art gallery! The kitty cats had worked up quite an appetite butterfly chasing when they ran into their friend Mustard. Hey, hey there, Mustard! <laughs> oh, hi. What are you eating there? The yummiest declare in the history of the world. Oh, wow. Could the three of us have just a taste of it? Not a chance. If you want some, then go buy one for yourself. They sell them over there in the cafeteria, the little one that's inside the great big fancy art gallery. A cafeteria in the art gallery? Can you tell us how we can get there? All right, first you go straight ahead past the square cat, go straight until you reach the screaming cat, then go right as far as the smiling cat. You'll come to a sculpture, the thinking cat. Right past him is the cafeteria. And in the cafeteria are the eclairs. That made no sense at all. What square cat where? Uh, I don't understand it, but I do have it memorized. Then why don't we run home and draw a nice map of our route? The kitty cats were very excited to have a map to the world's yummiest treasure. Hey, Mom! Can we visit the big art gallery, please? Oh, it's wonderful that you kitties have taken an interest in art, but I'm tied up cooking lunch. Ask your father. I bet he'd be happy to take you to the gallery. Mom said that? You know, I'm just as busy as your mother. As long as it's for the sake of art, though, I guess this can wait. Let's go to the art gallery right now. Hooray! Be wow, be wow, be wow, be wow! The gallery was very big and had lots and lots of pictures. Listen up, kitties, and I'll teach you all about the art. This place has all the greats, like, uh, I was, uh... Hey, there's the square cat, look! Come on! He's really funny, too! <laughs> <laughs> right, so this is Cats on Rocks by Andy Hairball. Huh? 
Ooh, that's a masterpiece. The screaming cat's next. Look there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a very famous painting. It's called the Owl. Look, there's the smiling cat. Huh? <laughs> the Mona Lisa. Oh, what's that must be the thinking one? cat over there. Huh? Hmm. <laughs> hey, look! The eclairs! Daddy, could you please buy some yummy eclairs for us? Hey, is this the whole reason you wanted to come here? <sighs> Mustard was right. This is the yummiest eclair I've ever eaten. Now, this is what I call a masterpiece. They use my eclair recipe to make those, you know. Then can you make some more for us when we get home? I don't think so. I have to finish my work. I lost time taking you to a gallery when you really wanted to go to a bakery. Well, you got what you came for. Come on. It's a shame that Dad won't make us any more eclairs. Because I really love those things. They're great, but I also like the screaming cat. I loved the smiling cat. I thought the square cat was really cool. But Dad thinks the three of us didn't care anything about the art. I have a super good idea. We should all do our very own paintings for him. Then Daddy will know that the gallery trip wasn't a waste of time at all. And soon the kitty cat's house was full of hardworking artists. Huh? <laughs> huh? What are you up to in here? Oh, it's just wonderful. Why, we could hang these up and have our own art gallery. Darling kittens, I can't tell you how much I've enjoyed looking at these paintings. And I thought this was a good way to say thank you. Eclairs! The kittens agreed that Dad's eclairs were a work of art. Now it's just like a big fancy gallery here. Beautiful art everywhere and a first-rate cafeteria. Um. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Dad's eclairs were a very big hit, and everyone agreed the Kitty Cat's art gallery was almost as good as the real thing. Playing in the dark. One night, Mommy and Daddy went out to dinner and left the kittens at home with Grandma. Grandma, will you play with us, please? I have to finish making your dinner before I can play, darlings. But you three just go ahead and I'll join in when I'm finished. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Whoa! The lights went out. <laughs> Did I clap too hard? Ah! Cookie pudding, what happened? I'm afraid of the dark. Why? What's there to be afraid of? But you were just blindfolded when we were playing, and that's the same thing as being in the dark. But wearing a blindfold isn't nearly as dark as real darkness. Kittens, where are you? Grandma! It looks like every single light in the house is out, but everything's going to be all right. We need to head down to the cellar to find some flashlights. But it's even darker down there. Maybe we can wait up here for the lights to come back on? But what if they stay off for a long time? We'll be fine down there, kittens, because we'll all be together the whole time. Well, all right. <laughs> going down the steps, dears. Uh, Goodness, what's the matter, Candy? I'm frightened. It's even darker down there, you know. I'm not even a bit scared, and I'll tell you why. Because darkness is our friend. There are many beautiful things that we never see without it, like the lovely glimmer of this candlelight and the twinkling stars. These wonderful things can only be seen in the dark. The stars aren't up there. <gasps> oh, wow! Not to mention there's a great deal of fun to be had when you're playing in the dark, especially if you can get your paws on a flashlight. Uh -huh. 
Come and look at this candy. Look, it's a duck. Quack, 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 quack. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a mountain. Look, Cookie Mobile. <laughs> and this is a butterfly. Whoa, I just got very hungry. Yeah, I'm starving. Goodness, kittens, I'm afraid I forgot to finish dinner and all the confusion. Let's try to root out something to eat down here. Something which doesn't need any cooking. I already found something awesome. Cookies. And I see apples over here. I've got carrots. Dinner uh -huh. is served. Oh. oh, and look, the lights are back on as well. Oh, no. But we were having all that fun in the dark. And it wasn't really scary at all. Uh. Hey, I just had a really good idea. See, now we can play in the dark again. Oh, we would. So, so awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. Goodness, kittens, what's going on in here? Has the electricity gone out? Yeah. Oh. It did go out, but it's on again. We just have the lights out because the dark is fun. Why, Candy, you're not afraid of the dark anymore? That's just wonderful. Well done. Come over here, everyone, and enjoy our shadow show. And that's how Candy learned that darkness is really nothing to be afraid of. And playing in the dark can be a lot of fun. Squabbling kitties. One day, Daddy suggested that the kittens play a board game. Look at this, kittens. Ah. Huh? And this game can be played by several players at once. There's no way that you could get bored with it. Mommy and Daddy have some things to take care of, but you can play the game together in the meantime. So awesome! Be wow, be wow, be wow, be wow! Okay, I'll take the first turn. But Cookie, you go first every time. Let me be first for once. No fair, I never get to go first. Let me. But I'm faster, so I should be first. Oh. Huh? Me, I'm first. <laughs> the kittens didn't want to let each other go first. It's your turn. Well, I'm done. I am not going to play with you anymore. I'm not either. Is that right? Well, in that case, I'm not playing with you two. So I'm going outside to play with my ball. The kittens thought that they would be happier without their siblings. I'm going to have so much more time to make wonderful dresses for my dollies. I'll come up with my own fashion collection and everyone will love, love, love it. And I'll become a great Fashion designer. <laughs> now I can devote myself completely to science and study cool stuff like plants and mushrooms. And I'll go everywhere in the world and discover all kinds of awesome things. Oh. <laughs> Lots more time to practice soccer. I'll become the captain of a famous team. Then we'll win the world championship. Ah, and win a giant trophy. But then, the kittens realized that something was missing. Oh, I really wish Cookie and Pudding were here to see this. Yeah, I really wish I could share this with my brother and sister. Celebrating a win with pudding and candy would be just so awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. What are you doing? Oh, nothing. I just wanted to take a look at the game board. Oh. 
Um, are you having fun all by yourself? Sure, it's awesome. The most fun ever, ever. I'm having all the fun in the world. Huh? Boris came over to huh? visit the kittens. Who's there? It's Boris. Hi, Hi there, there, Boris. Boris. Hi, guys. Boris, come play a game with me. No, come play with me, Boris. You'd have way more fun if you played with me. Why don't we all play it together? We decided that we're never playing together again. Because someone always wants to be the one that plays first. Yeah, or getting offended by everything. We were fighting the whole time. I don't have any brothers or sisters at home, so I came to play with all of you, but you're fighting. Boris, don't leave. Let's all play together. I'll even let you be the one to play first. Can I play? I'm really tired of just sitting alone. I agree. I've got a really good idea. We should stop fighting over stuff and play together instead. <laughs> Looks like the game is at full swing. Have you got room there for two more players? <gasps> Your father and I would be very happy to play the game with you. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The kitty cats realized that it's not that important if you go first or if you win, as long as your friends and family are with you. Baby Tooth. One day during breakfast, Candy felt something strange. Oh, I think my tooth is wobbling. Good for you. Your teeth are starting to fall out, Candy. What? Mommy, am I going to lose them all? <laughs> Don't worry. You're just oh. losing what are called baby teeth, darling. When your baby teeth fall out, different ones begin oh. to grow in. Your permanent teeth, which last forever and ever. Cookie and I went through the same thing when we were little. Then I'll be getting a whole new tooth? Awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Candy couldn't wait to show her tooth to her friends. See? Look at it! All right, loose tooth, that's awesome! I did not like it when my baby teeth were coming out one bit. I thought it made me look not so pretty. <laughs> when my teeth came out, I was really hoping I would grow crazy giant fangs in their place. Obviously, it didn't happen. But when you lose a tooth, you can put it underneath your pillow. Then the Tooth Fairy will come and take the tooth and leave a present for you. Awesome! I want a present from the Tooth Fairy. That sounds super great. Is there a way to get my tooth out faster at all? Well, you could just bite an apple. Your tooth will get stuck in it and come right out. But what if I accidentally eat my tooth, though, along with the apple? Ow! <laughs> oh. Then the Tooth Fairy won't get anything. Just tie a string to your tooth. Then you simply attach the string to the back of a car. And then when it leaves, so will your tooth. Oh! You know what? It'd be even better if you tied it to a plane. But what if the tooth is too tough and it won't come out? <laughs> <laughs> Just go to the dentist if the tooth doesn't come out on its own. I did that one time. It was a dark and spooky dentist's office. And the dentist wore a dark and spooky mask and plucked oh. and pulled and tugged out my little bitty white baby tooth. Ooh. <laughs> there goes Smudge <laughs> and his scary stories again. Dentists don't wear masks that are dark and scary. They're actually really friendly and helpful. Dentists are fine, but I still don't want to go to one. I'll just let my tooth fall out all by itself. <laughs> Wait. Okay, lunchtime. Come on then, Candy. Candy hadn't eaten anything all day, and her wobbly tooth still hadn't come out. That's that. I'm calling the dentist right now. I'm sure he'll sort this out in a hurry. Hello? I'd like to make a dentist appointment, please. I don't want to go see the dentist at all. I'm real scared. Don't worry, Candy. We'll come with you. Yeah. All right now, Candy, let's open wide. Pop! And there's our little baby tooth. <gasps> Is it done? Yep. And pretty soon you'll have a brand new grown-up tooth. But you must remember, take care of your teeth by brushing and flossing and seeing me. Thank you, sir. Now I can give my tooth to the Tooth Fairy. So awesome! Me 
wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. <laughs> huh? One second. Oh. Hmm. Uh, oh. You need to stick around a little while, Daddy. Your teeth need some work. Do you eat a lot of sweets? Uh, well, I, I, I have to for my job at the candy factory. Mm. Mm. Everyone needs to take care of their teeth. Uh, Watch the sweets. Uh, Brush and floss twice a day. And then they're sure to stay healthy and strong. The Mysterious Cake Chomper. One day, Daddy baked a wonderful cake. My darling, what a lovely cake you made. Can't wait to try it. We'll have it after dinner for dessert, of course. But for now, let's let it soak up the cream. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Now I just need to find a glass cover so your cake will stay nice and fresh. Cookie decided to have a closer look at the cake. And then he decided to try it. And then... I think this cover will do nicely. Oh, where did Daddy's cake go? That's a good question. Wasn't it just sitting right there? Cookie must have eaten it. No, it wasn't me. It was... It was... The Cake Chomper! Who now? The Cake Chomper? <laughs> wow, never heard of him before. What did it look like, Cookie? Well, uh, well, he had a cape, a spotted one, and a strange metal hat. Uh, and it was wearing purple mittens. <laughs> and it was hooting like an owl. <laughs> It ate the cake and then ran off somewhere. There's a cake chomper hiding in the house somewhere, and there isn't a moment to lose. We have to track him down right away. Let's go! Uh, uh, <laughs> the whole family started searching for the mysterious cake chomper. It's not behind the sofa, either. Oh, what could the spoon be doing here? Uh, uh, the cake chomper must have accidentally dropped it. I'll look for it over here. Ooh, 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 ooh. Everybody, the cake chomper was just here, and I think it ran into Mommy's room. Cake chomper, are you here? <laughs> Look here! I found footprints, see? Looks like the cake chomper must have walked through some chalk. It would seem he has two left feet, which is weird. The chomper also transported himself into Mommy's room without leaving any more footprints. Cake chompers are even more mysterious than they are hungry. Well, I'm not gonna believe it exists until I see it. Okay. It looks like the cake chomper is branching out from cake to jam. Aha! Uh, 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 uh. uh -huh. Now we know who the cake chomper is. Cookie, why didn't you just admit you ate the cake yourself? I didn't want everybody to be angry with me. I'm sorry. We're not mad at you, Cookie. Was the jam really tasty? <laughs> yeah, it was. And was the cake really yummy? It was so yummy. I have a really great idea. Cookie should just make another cake, and we can help him. That is a great idea, and I'll teach you how. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! So 
Would each of you kittens like a slice or two? Yes, please. But let's keep an extra slice on the side. Yeah, just in case good old Cake Chopper pops in for tea. <laughs> <laughs> so on this day, Cookie learned that it's always better to tell the truth and to cook up a solution to make up for it. Uncle Muffin. One day, the kitty cats rampaged around all day long. <laughs> and when bedtime came, they did not want to go to sleep. I give up. I'm sorry, but I think it's time. You want me to call him? You sure? Mm -hmm. uh, hey, you know what, kittens? Guess who's coming over to see you tomorrow? Uncle Muffin! <gasps> to stay with you kids while Dad and I take care of some things. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The next morning, Uncle Muffin made a big entrance. <laughs> hey, what's up, oh, baby brother? <laughs> oh, great to see you. Oh, howdy, my yeah. niece and nephews. I haven't seen you for so long. Wow, look how big you are. I guess you don't remember me at all, right? But that's cool. After this day together, you will, yeah? <laughs> Go on, Mommy and Daddy. We're fine. Woohoo! <laughs> Uncle Muffin turned out to be lots and lots of fun. He played with the kitty cats just like he was one of them, not worried at all about being responsible. Cleaning up's boring. Instead, let's jump on the couch. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> we busted the couch. Uh, we should probably fix it. Yeah, or not. Let's play ball instead. Hey! Yeah, let's! Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uncle Muffin? We really need to hang the clock back up. Ah, I'd rather go jump in some puddles. <laughs> hey! Oh. <laughs> Uncle Muffin is behaving really, really badly. Let's lock him outside, where he can't break any more stuff. Yeah, but what if he breaks down the door? Hey! Huh? <laughs> well, maybe if we sing him a lullaby, he'll fall asleep. Uncle Muffin, that's enough. Go to sleep, stop breaking stuff. But I love breaking, as in breaking out hot tunes. Naughty cat! Naughty cat! Yeah, your lullaby is not gonna help us here. We should find some magical snooze candy. Oh, yeah. Is it all? Hmm. <laughs> Shame there's no such thing as magic sleep candy. Hey, nephews and niece, come give me a big huggy boo. <laughs> Mommy, Daddy! Please help us. Uncle Muffin is behaving really badly. My goodness, really? Kind of like a group of kittens was behaving yesterday. Who? Oh. You're talking about the three of us, right? What? No way! I don't want to be like Uncle Muffin. Me neither. Not at all. I have a really good idea. The answer is to behave ourselves. Then we'll be nothing like Uncle Muffin is. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Seems like you have all learned your lesson. That's the reason I played my role. Hmm? Hmm? Uncle Muffin's a talented actor. We invited him to show you exactly what misbehaving too much can look like. Of course, in real life, your Uncle Muffin isn't like that at all. I should say not. Really, I always listen to others, and I'm quite well-mannered. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Everyone pitched in to clean up the big mess Uncle Muffin had made in the house. And the kitty cats behaved beautifully helping out and having fun.